Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome. My name is Mitsuko, so thank you so much for watching this video. Now I want to do something fun for Valentine's Day or you can do this for any other day. Now I'm going to show you my hair, makeup, and also my accessories, perfume, all the good stuff. Now keep watching if you want to know the details. What I did is I already prepped my hair. I cut it. If you want to know how I cut my hair, I have a video already on this. I will link it down below for you. But I just want to do like a nice like um, updo and then just have the hair stay up. Now, yesterday I prepped my hair with um, mousse and gel just to get it defined, but now I'm looking at it and I think it's a little bit too defined because I want that volume. And when it's so defined like that, it shrinks. Um, shrinkage is fine, but I just want volume. So I'm going to wet my hair just to get it to be a little bit more frizzy and then just have that volume. So I'm going to use just water and then spray it. So I'm trying to get rid of that definition. Like definition is great, but for this hairstyle, I just want it to be like big. So I'm going to do that for my whole head. And then I'm going to pull on it just to get that water in. Okay, it's starting to frizz, which is great. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. And then the reason I'm starting with my hair before is just because I want it, I want it to dry um, by the time I'm done with my makeup. So yeah, it's pretty wet. Okay, so I'm going to separate my hair in half like roughly, okay? And then I'm just going to take a tie, just separate that, just so it's loose enough. Okay. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. Just grab everything. And I know I look like a child, but it's okay. I just want it to get like really big. So I'm going to take the Pantene pick, hair pick, and then just start pulling on these. And I'll do that again once it's dry, but I just want to do it now just to get a little bit more volume. I'm gonna wait for my hair to dry, do my makeup, and then we'll just keep going. So lately what I've been doing is prepping my skin with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is what it looks like. I really like this moisturizer because it is very moisturizing. To prep my eyes, I use the Laura Mercier Translucent with the um, Born This Way Concealer in Chestnut. For the eyes, I have an idea of what I want to do. It's just, um, it's going to be my first time trying this palette. I got it during the Sephora sale. So this is the Instant Eye Palette, Smoky Eyes Are Forever from Charlotte Tilbury. Now I'm thinking of using the nice reddish brown shade. What a surprise. So this shade, this one. Now this shade is very pretty. It's like, I like that it's very rich and it's pretty easy to blend so, so far so good. Now I'm looking at, going to use this shade next. It's a really nice dark brown and I'm going to, I think I'm gonna do like a nice halo. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on the outside here, just a little bit. And then also put some there, right there. Really nice dark brown, very pretty. Okay, I feel like I'm losing the first shade, so I'm going to take a little bit more of this shade and I'm going to put some again in my crease just to 
bring back the warmth and to blend the two together. Like I want to go for something very sultry. Really nice shades. Very pigmented. Going back in with the dark brown shade, this one. Now I want to put the shimmer and again, like I said, this look is very simple. Okay, you see these? I don't know which one. What do you think about the green? Nice copper. Oh, the copper's pretty. Oh, this one is very rich. Oh, that one's really nice too. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So let me try. Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, this thing. Oh, wow. This shade is like beautiful. So nice. Wow, and that's just one swipe. Precision Concealer Brush from Sephora, and I'm going back in with the reddish, which is this one. And I'm going to put it in between this glitter and the darker shade. I'm going to take this shade and then put it on top just a little bit, just to see. Oh, that's really nice. It's more like a copper, like a pink copper, which I like. So it's not very pink, but it's not very orange. Really like it. I think I just need to clean it up a little bit just to make it nicer, um, just to clean up because I have a little bit of shimmer that went, um, above my crease and I just want to clean it and then add maybe a little bit more of the first shade. Um, do the other eye and then I'll come back. So both eyes are done. Now I'm going to focus on my base and I'm priming my skin with the Milk Hydro Grip. And I did get a little bit of fallout from um, the palette but it's mostly from the shimmer shades. So I'm glad I started with my eyes first. I'm going to use my new favorite foundation, which is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Macau. The shade is amazing. So I think I'm going to put two pumps to start. contour I'm going to use Dinosaur Mavericks bronzer I'm just going to put a little bit of that and then to conceal I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way and then this is in chestnut Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of the Pat McGrath on top. And I'm just going to blend everything. Use the sponge. And then I want it to be a little bit brighter, so I'm going to put some of the uh, Makeup Forever. This is the Matte Skin Velvet, and in the shade 4.3. Okay, and I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish in the shade 2, medium 2. And I'm not going to bake, I'm just going to set this. Going to set the rest of my face using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in the shape Deep. Dust off any leftover of the setting powder. So to bronze, I'm using the Galen Terracotta. This is in the shade Ebony.
So I'm going to use Taj Mahal. This is from NARS. It's a really nice shade. And I just want to brighten my cheeks a little bit. I don't want to put too much because it has a lot of shimmer to it. So I don't want it to overpower the look. So I'm going to do my brows off camera, come back, and then we'll finish the rest of the face. I'm done with the brows, so I'm going back to my eyes. It's the last step, and then I have to do my lips. I'm going to put this reddish shade on my bottom lash line. Using a fluffy brush, I'm just going to smoke that, just blow it out. So I'm going to use this shade and then put it right above, so closer to my um, waterline. And then use again this brush and then fluff it out. So I put on my lashes, just have the lips left and we're good to go. So I'm going to use cork to line my lips. Using the Danisa Marix Lip and Cheek Dewy Palette, I'm going to use this shade, which is Hush Hush. So in the center, I want it to be a little bit brighter, so I'm going to use Mademoiselle um, from Fenty. This is up to no good. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this for the lips. I think everything is beautiful, it's just subtle. So I'm going to set everything and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. Okay, so now time for the, the hair. I'm just going to remove these. It's not super dry, but I'm getting more volume, which is great. So I'm just going to pull on it a little bit. I feel like it still needs to dry a little bit, but I'm just going to work with it. Okay, so I'm going to take this hair tie just because it's pretty, like it's pretty large. I'm going to tie the back and then leave the front as is going to put the elastic, push it a little bit forward so everything goes up. Okay. See? Like that. Going to take the pattern hair pick and then just stretch my hair. So whenever I look, I'm styling the hair, so I feel like it's as, I don't think I can add much volume until it's completely dry. So I'm going to fix the, the hair at the front. So if you're looking at it from the front, um, like these on the side, they're just not doing it for me. So I'm going to use bobby pins just to tuck them in. And then when you look at my hair from the front, See what I mean? Like you're not seeing this fall off randomly. So I'm just going to put more bobby pins and then just tuck that. So this is pretty much everything for the hair. I have to wait for the back to dry. It's still a little bit wet and in the middle. Um, but once it's a little bit drier, I'll probably pick it again just so it's bigger. And then that's it. So I'm going to put on my perfume and then this is the Jean-Paul Gaultier. This is classic. I don't know the name. I think it's called Femme. Really nice. 
And then this is something new that I got. This is the Versace um, ear cuff. And with this, you don't need to put an earring, I find, just because it kind of looks like an earring. I could technically put something, but I just, I think it's enough. This is what it looks like. So that is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Do you want to see more videos like this? Also, if you haven't done it already, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.